Hi, my name is Andy Pattison. I'm an assistant professor of environmental studies here at Colgate, and I study environmental politics and policy. Mostly my interests rely on studying social ecological systems and specifically climate and energy politics and policy at the sub-national level, which is to say local government and state level government. Recently, a project I've been involved with, with an environmental sociologist from Texas State and an economist geographer from University of Chicago, is on mapping our carbon footprints down to the zip code level and to the county level at different scales and examining the interaction of various social data such as income of households to carbon footprints. When we talk about carbon emissions and we just use that term, we lose a lot of the complexity. And that is that there are different kinds of emissions from different uh, processes. The kind of emissions that come out of electrical generation like coal-fired power plants are substantially different from the kind of emissions that result from other processes. And what we have found is that communities vary quite a bit in their carbon footprint across those different types of emissions. And the contribution by different groups of people um, based on their income at the household level is very different. And the reason I'm interested in thinking through the different kinds of emissions and what scale they are produced at and what activity leads to those emissions is because I'm hoping to educate the debates around where those policy interventions should be. I teach a class called Sustainability and Climate Action Planning and I work with um, local governments and um, community organizations to find community partnerships, then my students uh, perform greenhouse gas inventories and climate action plans for those community partners. Uh, they're getting real world experience in learning the tools and the, and the trade of greenhouse gas inventory work and climate action planning. Uh, another class I teach is our community-based uh, study of environmental issues. And right now I have uh, two projects working in the local community on climate action planning and greenhouse gas inventories as well. The last 10 years, I've seen a real erosion of uh, civility and logic and uh, any semblance of a rational conversation at the national level on climate change. Uh, but at the local level, when you are going to town hall meetings and you're going to county meetings and people are learning about what climate change means for their community, um, is the time that you plant the corn actually changing? That's something we've been writing down for more than 100 years and we can see that that's changing. Are the storms and the floods or um, wildfires, whatever is appropriate for that region, happening more often or happening worse, people can get on board with that conversation. That is why I got very interested in calculating these emissions at the local level too, so we could match the carbon emissions data to the specific policy interventions. So that's how I, I got involved with the actual topic and the research and the classes, and I think the students are really responding. So.